Okay? And the idea is that uh, when you are writing your factors, always write them in standard form with the leading coefficient that's positive. Okay? And so when you do that process, okay, so here I have a leading coefficient of something other than a 1, so I'm going to uh, rewrite my middle term again. Again, I, I could use trial and error if I wanted to, but I'm going to rewrite my middle term. 9 times a negative 5 is negative 45. Two factors of negative 45 whose sum is negative 4 is going to be a negative 9 and a positive 5. So you have your factors. If you rewrite your middle term, it's the sum of those. Drop your first and last terms down. And then factor by grouping. I can remove a 9t from my first pair of terms, leaving a t minus 1. I can remove a 5 from my second pair of terms, also leaving a t minus 1. And if I've done this correctly, I should have a common binomial factor. And then the remaining factors of 9t and plus 5 are going to form the, bi the terms of my other binomial. Now, in my denominator, 1 minus t, there's no common factors, but that's not written in the form that I had uh, suggested, which is uh, standard form. So that would be um, a negative t and a plus 1 with a leading coefficient that's positive. So I'm going to factor out my negative, giving me a t minus 1. So notice I now have this in a consistent form. Uh, if I have binomial factors, I can see in this case that these cancel. Hey, don't leave negative numbers or negative signs in the denominator. Move it up. So I can either distribute it through and write negative 10 or say negative 9t minus 5, or I can just write it negative quantity 9t plus 5. Either of those is fine. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to leave it as factors like this, but it could be either one. And then my, uh, my additional domain restriction, I saw that I canceled a factor from my denominator. It's no longer apparent that t cannot equal 1, so I need to include that uh, as a domain restriction. And so that would be the answer that I would need uh, for this problem.